Welcome to this episode of Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and it's a cool autumn day here in northern Utah. Uh, just over my left shoulder, the Wasatch Mountains had their first dusting of snow. The skier in me is uh, very excited about that prospect of the change in seasons coming up. But with this kind of weather, it seemed like a great day to do a little something for our camper today. Now, while my wife and I were boondocking for about a week uh, with our dogs, uh, uh, last month or earlier this month actually uh, we were in the San Juan Mountains of southwestern Colorado which uh, as an aside if you haven't been there uh, absolutely one of the most spectacular mountain ranges I've ever had the pleasure of seeing uh, Telluride, Silverton, Ophir, Ure, um, even all the way down to Durango an absolutely beautiful mountain range anyway I digress um, the reason uh, that this is relevant is my wife has a tendency to want to use the heater in the trailer in the morning just to take the chill off a little bit. So, uh, woke up one morning, sure enough, um, I'm sure it's happened to many of you, uh, surprise, surprise, we were out of propane. So, uh, it was a major inconvenience, had to pull the tanks off the trailer, drive like 20 miles into town, go get them filled, bring them back, because otherwise our food would have spoiled because our fridge was running on propane. Um, so. I decided I was not going to get caught with my pants down being out of propane again. Uh, the, the, you can, there are other ways to do this. I mean, they have those little uh, uh, gauges that attach to the uh, propane valves on your tanks, but they're kind of, uh, they're, and they're not the most dependable things in the world. Then there's the old pour the hot water down the side of the tank trick and see where it gets cold. Um, obviously, a major inconvenience. Um, got a better solution that we're going to try today, and hopefully, it'll do the trick. It's uh, called the Mopeka LP tank sensor uh, from a company called AP Products. Now, the, you can get these in uh, a couple of different configurations. Uh, you can get them either one sensor or two sensors. I opted for the two sensor version uh, because I have two propane tanks, so I'll have one on each tank. Um, what these do is they measure the level of the propane inside your, your tank from the outside via ultrasound. And then they communicate that data via Bluetooth. Now, how do you receive that data via Bluetooth? Uh, you can buy these standalone or just a, or as a pair standalone if you want to use just your mobile device, your cell phone, your tablet, any Bluetooth-enabled uh, uh, mobile device to be able to see how much propane is in your tank. Or on a more granular level, uh, they also have a monitor, which is also Bluetooth-enabled, that you can mount inside your trailer. Um, no, no, uh, to run. Uh, it all communicates wirelessly with this. Now, it's not as exact. Uh, you can see, I can show you, um, it uses kind of these, you know, these little, f uh, granular indicators. I, I'm using that term repeatedly, but I can't think of a better one. Kind of like the, uh, the black tank, gray tank, and fresh tank sensors that come on the wall of your trailer. So it's not an exact percentage. And there is one minor limitation to this that we'll talk about a little bit later in this video. Uh, but the point is, is that you can have it, you can get this data via multiple methods and know exactly if you're using your mobile phone or a pretty good approximation as to how much propane is left in your tank. So let's see how we set this up, shall we? Now, obviously the first thing we need to do is to get at our tanks. So I'm going to remove the cover and remove the tanks. It's a tight fit. Now on these sensors, this is actually the, the little ultrasonic sensor that we want to get right in the center of the tank. And these are the two magnets that hold it on to the bottom of the tank. So we want to get that right smack in the middle, and you see how securely that attaches. And keep in mind, there's a tray underneath this thing that keeps this from falling out if we from road vibration or bumping around or what have you. Now this, the foot of the tank, is not sufficiently high for this to adequately clear. We kind of set, crush that a little bit once I put the tank back on. So Mopeka supplies these little feet 
that go on the tank and they don't go on very easily I can tell you that but they do go on just give them a good shove and that will just with time pack down from the weight and we're gonna jam those on one at a time Matter of fact, a little tap from a hammer probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, I'm going to do the second tank, and then we'll come back. I just got done mounting this to my wall. This is the remote monitor. Uh, lets me see wirelessly just how much the propane I have in the front of the trailer. Now, this trailer overall is 26 feet long. Um, it's probably about 25 feet through the wall. From the propane tanks to the sensor, it is picking up the wireless signal without any difficulty whatsoever. Um... It's supposed to mount with two screws of the wall. I don't know about you. I don't like screwing into the walls of my RV. So I used uh, command picture hanger strips, which, if you're not familiar with them, are kind of like super duty Velcro. It's not going to come off. Um, and uh, I don't have to worry about drilling, drilling holes into the wall of my trailer. Um, it's easily removed without damaging the wall. You just pull on the tab until the, the, the adhesive releases. Um, so that's all mounted, ready to go. Something else I should point out that I discovered because it kind of wigged me out in the beginning. Uh, the, if the tanks have been moved and the, and the propane inside slashed around and what have you, um, it tends to give erroneous readings. When I first took these up, it showed both my tanks had 8% in them, which I knew was ludicrous. Um, after a few minutes, it stabilized and showed 100% in tank 2 and 50% in tank 1, which is just about where I expected it to be. So it works. So now that everything is all connected, let's take a look here in the app. I'm sitting in the RV about, oh, 20 feet, maybe 22 feet away from the tanks. You can see the tank 1 is reporting a level of 50%, and tank 2 is reporting as pretty much full. Now, if I click on each individual tank, you can see there's tank 1. It was updated 4 or 5 seconds ago, and it's about to refresh. You can see the battery level's good. You can see the level of signal I'm getting off the tank and the quality of the reading. If you hit the edit button, this is where you calibrate it. You pick whether it's a 20, 30, or 40 pound vertical tank, or you have an arbitrary number where you can set the height of the propane in the tank. That'll let you do it, say, in a motorhome where you have a horizontally mounted tank. The alarm threshold tells you tells the app when it's going to alert you via a notification as to when it's time to get the tank filled. I have mine set at 20%. Finally, you can set the level the units for the tank level as either percentage, inches, or centimeters. We're going to go back. We're going to go back again. Here in the menu, uh, you configure whether or not you're going to receive alarm notifications whether or not you're going to anonymously upload sensor data to Mopeka along with the type of phone that you're using so that way they can adjust the app and make corrections where necessary. The device search filter, if you have that many tanks that you need to search for them, I'm wondering what the heck you're driving. Uh, that pretty much walks us through the app. So in summary, I'm pretty pleased with the operation of this Mopeka LP tank check. Um, I'll put some links down below in the comments. Uh, that you can find these online and order them from, say, Amazon. Um, again, they come in various configurations, uh, depending on the setup of your trailer and whether or not you want the remote monitor or not. Um, I will uh, give you the various options in the links below. Uh, until then, uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, and we really hope this is a brand new channel. We hope you'll hit the subscribe button and hit the little alarm bell right next to the subscription button so you receive instant notifications of any new episodes of Grand Adventure. And before we go, don't forget, life is nothing but a Grand Adventure.